Hello there, everyone. I sure hope you're doing okay. I have a thought for you. Whose voice do you listen to? Whose voice do you listen to? And I don't necessarily mean, oh, I listen to my husband's or I listen to my daughter's or I listen to my son's or I listen. To... I don't mean that. I mean, of all the voices speaking at us, whose is it that we pay heed to and we pay attention to and we snap up and we kind of get in line with? There's a story in John chapter 9 that intrigues me and fits along this line. There was a man that had been blind since birth and he was sitting by the side of the road and Jesus was walking by and um, his disciples came to Jesus and said, Jesus, this guy that's blind, he's been blind his whole life. Who sinned? Did he sin or did his parents? And Jesus looked at them and he said in Mark, excuse me, in John chapter nine, verse number three, neither one, neither his parents nor he has sinned, basically. He said, this happened so that you could see him experience God's miracle. This happened in his life from birth. He's been like this so that we could see the miracle that God wants to do in his life. That's the first word, the miracle that God wants to do in this man's life. And the disciples sort of went, okay. As the story goes on, you know, Jesus healed him. Jesus touched down in the dirt and moistened it and put it in the, and had the guy put it in his eyes and he went down and he washed and he could see. And he was, he was amazed because for the first time in his life, he could see the birds and he could see the trees and he could see the light on the water and he could see it all. He could see. And when he was questioned, he said, I don't know anything about this guy. All I know is I was blind and now I can see. And then his parents got questioned. His pa parents said, we don't know who did this. Ask him, ask the guy. He asked our son, he's of age. Yeah, he's been blind since birth, since he was born. In fact, he was born this way. And the religious leaders got totally ticked off and kept questioning the guy. How did this happen? How did this happen? How come you can see? The miracle of God, the miracle of God came upon this man's life and changed what had been a lifetime defect, a lifetime weakness, a lifetime disability. And then the religious leaders got ticked and they said this, they said, who do you think you are? And I'm looking at chapter nine, verse 34. They said, who do you think you are? Just who do you think you are? You were born a blind, filthy sinner. You have no right to talk to us. So in this story, at the beginning of the story, we have Jesus saying, no one sinned. This guy is gonna see the miracle of God in something that he has been battling with his whole life. And at the end, the voice that was speaking was saying, oh, you are just, you're born that way. You'll never change. You're a filthy, blind sinner. And so to the question we started off with, my friend, whose voice do we listen to? Do we listen to the voices that say, oh, you're nothing. You're just blind. You can't see clearly. You're just a mess up. You're a moral failure. Are you kidding? Do you know the shame and the disgust and the sin that's in your life? You'll never change. Do we listen to that voice? Or do we listen to what God says? And God says, oh no, this happened so that the miracle of God can be seen in you. My friend, there's a miracle waiting for you. Born that way, not born that way. I can hear Lady Gaga and I'm not even referring to anything in particular other than there's been struggles in some of your lives that have been lifetime struggles, maybe lifetime sickness, maybe lifetime disease, maybe lifetime things twisted in our heart. And God say, so that the miracle of God can be seen in you. That's why it's happened. I'm telling you, you are this close to a miracle. But again, what voice are you listening to? Choice is ours. Go with God.